I uh, can't get it off. <laughs> hey, guys, thank you for being so patient on the God of War review. I had a bunch of family come in over there, so I took a holiday break. Uh, we're back now, so here's the review. Thank you for being patient. Thank you to you guys for watching. Thank you to our sponsors, G Fuel, which we will have a big announcement very soon. We're moving forward with my own flavor, boy. <laughs> New, you know it get my own flavor uh but so we're working hard behind the scenes i've gone through all of your ideas and i have found a really really special awesome one i cannot wait to reveal it to you guys uh but continue grabbing some tubs every time we do an angry review like right now we get a huge percent off use this code down here below continue supporting our show it's because of you that we're now getting uh our own flavor i can't wait to share more with you guys Thank you so much, and I hope you enjoy the review. Boy! Boy! Boy, where are you, boy? Boy! You've been here the whole time. When I call you, you come, boy. I am not a boy. I'm a man. A <laughs> man. You're my boy, son. Now, let's get ready for training. Here, boy, you got to train with his axe and the chaos blades, boy. Boy, boy, say something. Speak to me, boy. When I talk, to they, you want me to get the belt? I'll get the belt, boy. I'm gonna I'm get the belt. Oh my God, I hate you, Dad. Go get some sun. Uh, eh, I was born this way. Boy, you don't know where this came from. It hurts my heart, boy. Boy, talk to me. He's not talking to you. Why? He's a teenager. He's angry at you all of the time. Angry all the time, a teenager, but but he's just a boy. Well, explain the voice cracking, the violent mood swings, the body odor he has, and how about loudly three times a day he's trying to make you the grandfather of sock babies. Ugh. Gross. Mm -hmm. Ugh. Look, face it, brother. This year, your greatest foe is going to be teen angst. Mm. Well, at least it's not the end of the world or anything. Dad of War is back. I, I couldn't get this off my face. Only this time, I guess boy is a man, right? Whereas God of War 2018 was about a father and son journey, redemption for Kratos, and identity for his son. This game is more about finding forgiveness, grief, trauma, betrayal, destiny. And while these are awesome themes, and all of them done at a high level, I must admit the way some of them are executed isn't quite as compelling as last time. The pacing is off a little bit at times. Please, Please come inside. Uh, we'll be goodies. right in. Well, what, uh, what the hell? What the hell? <laughs> Excuse me, I just saved your fucking so, ass. Can we talk about what to do next? There is much to consider. <laughs> but the game, when the game is focusing on Kratos and Atreus, that relationship, it feels tight, it feels impactful, it's got a lot of heart like the original game has. Stop thinking like a father for a moment and start thinking like a general. No, no. I'm your father, boy. There's a moment where Kratos surprised me where he helps his son free a creature. It flies? Of course it flies. It's a half -kufa. Sounds much happier now. And hey, the storm's gone. Look, Father, thanks for bringing us out here, but you don't have to do this kind of stuff just to keep my mind off Ragnarok, you know? This was not a distraction. No? Then why are we really out here? Have you ever considered he just wants to spend time with you, lad? Well, he still can. Really? We do not know what lies ahead. But if Ragnarok approaches, I wish to enjoy the time we have left. Aww. 
It's a great moment, and it reminded me so much of the first game. I freaking loved it. You've already taught me discipline. I need more than that. I need answers. Answers you don't have. Answers only your mother had. She just slept. <laughs> she with help. Oh, sh shut up, boy. <laughs> And while I may not like the overall story quite as much as 2018's, I cannot deny they tried to do the bigger, better, more badass thing, right? It is, after all, Ragnarok, the end of the world. There are more enemies, more boss battles, some of them very, very good. Oh, fuck. It belongs to Odin? No. Hey, oh, brother! Oh, Every fucking time. Same oh, spot. Same <laughs> spot. <laughs> Never here. Ow, ow, ow! What the fuck are you? A stalker! On your guard, brother! I'm gonna find your stalker! We get the Acer Gods, the big payoff with the beer belly tough guy, Thor! That's what you wanted to see, right? Why my sons fell to you, even this lesser version of you. But I am not my sons. Some huge creatures, Odin and way more. Some mini bosses basically force you to really try the new combat pairing and shield mechanics that make you so much more effective in battle. God damn it, I didn't see him behind me. <laughs> this is a tough one. We're attack the boy. No! Brother, oh, on, brother. God, Take the high ground. Shake it off, man. You got that. You couldn't oh! even get there in time. <laughs> No! Uh, Joe, do you want me to no. put this on baby mode for you and I'll take over? No. How you doing, Chad? It's close. Want it. Want it. Oh, I saw it in, it up. in slow no, mo. I got this. <laughs> I should mention that Thor and Odin are depicted in a much different way than what we're usually used to seeing with these characters. Now, what you did to his boys, self-defense. I don't know about this guy's boys. Is what we this motherfucker Odin. And let's be honest, they were kind of useless. But Balder, he had value. You understand? And then that's it. They were square. Square. Shit, I'll leave a sweet deal. Odin comes square. I'll let you ah, keep shit, the prisoner. I'll sweeten the deal. <laughs> what the I know, fuck kind of dialogue is this from Odin? That's right. He's, He's like a mob boss. Somewhere, you silver-tongued little shit. It feels a bit out of place and oh, awkward yeah. sounding at times. A little less menacing. Hey, Loki. Come in. <laughs> Welcome to my humble abode. Hey, 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 you're looking good, kid. <laughs> you're the great Odin. You look oh, yeah. different. Hey, it is what it is. You know what I mean? A little bit of this, a little bit of that. <laughs> you sound different, too. Hey, forget about it, huh? Forget about it. Hey, you're here now, huh? <laughs> what did you want to speak to me about? Oh, well, you know, uh, this whole Ragnarok nonsense, you know? You guys shouldn't be against us guys. You guys should join us guys. I got no beefs with you guys. Capiche? I have no idea what the fuck you just said. Ah, a <laughs> little hot gobbledygook, you know what I mean? Don't listen to it, you know what I mean? It's like, ah, whoa, <laughs> you know? I have no idea what the fuck you just said. Yeah, you little kid. <laughs> you little, you little, uh, you, you know, you're not that smart, boy, but we'll get you there. <laughs> All right, get on out of here, get, get, go on, get. As I said before, this is about the boy coming of age and learning who he is and what his destiny may be. It's kind of more his game than his father's, even if we still do spend more time playing as Kratos than Atreus. Not so easy, huh? Shut up! <laughs> Try to do it as Dan did. 
But there are significant great sections where you actually take control of the boy for the first time. And I really like this gameplay. It's so fast and furious. <laughs> You can turn into a wolf and tear enemies to shreds. There's even a fucking bear that you can do. It's a fun variation on combat to change things up. A lot of people complain about the, the teenage date section, right? With anger boda. A lot of younger people find it slow, boring, awkward. Ew, she has cooties. Giant It's usually not so lively around here. Guess I'm just lucky. Nah, you're just Loki. Uh. <laughs> Ooh, that joke. Ooh. But I actually liked it. I thought it was touching, fun, a great character building experience. This section that really lets you take in all the wonderful detail and work that went into creating this elaborate game world. This is the kind of stuff that grows the franchise and enriches it. During these sections, you gain new companions with their own unique attacks. Though Anger Boda's attacks are some of the most hilariously ineffective attacks I have ever seen from a companion. Watch out! Whimsical! Wow! Wild! It's like she's throwing the food that Peter Pan and the Lost Boys were eating and hook. Alright, Anger Boda, get ready to attack! What the hell? Are you even doing any damage? You're just making a mess! Oh my god! You just need to stop attacking, alright? Look at this mess! Who's gonna clean it up? Look, I don't want to spoil what the other companions do, so discover them for yourself on who accompanies you throughout the journey. But as before, there are some great banter back and forth between you and your companions, and of course, Kratos and the boy. It's all really well written. The side quests are fantastic and rewarding with new armor pieces, and they offer good additional story moments that shouldn't be missed. Combat has been ratcheted up to 11. That was amazing. <laughs> they had so many cool little things. To you have both your Molnir rival axe and the Chaos Blades from the start of the game. And seamlessly switching be between the right tool for the job as the game encourages you uh, with its new ice mechanics for the axe, the fire for the Chaos Blades. It'll have you boosting attacks and your combos and interacting with the environment for completing various puzzles and locked areas. And I honestly found searching for the runes on these chests particularly fun. Exploring every nook and cranny of the world is part of the reason why it took me so long to finish the game. I just enjoyed being in the world. Amazing. Love the visuals of this game. It was right this way, Kratos. A work of art. Everything. So detailed. Come in. Come in. Now, if you would just wipe your feet very thoroughly, I'll wait. You're not going to wipe your feet, are you? Okay then, your bedrooms are there, the kitchen is just over there. Any... Anybody need a snack? Yes, I do. Kratos? Snack? Yes. I do not need a snack. What we need <laughs> is your help getting... It is a huge game. It took me a long time, maybe 40 plus hours for the story, 60 or 70 if you want to experience everything. Hell, maybe even more. Why? Kill it. Oh shit. Is that a watchtower? You got a better way? No. Ask the boy to shoot it. Got it. Got it. I'm a pro. 
you definitely get your money's worth and and everything that's within this is at that triple A level quality. Now previously we got access to six of the realms of North mythology in 2018's game and in this game access to all nine. Many have open world sections that let you explore the level the way that you choose through some sleds. Though some of the realms are kind of side things that aren't quite fully fleshed out worlds, it would have taken them an insane amount of development time uh, to do all nine. It is a good compromise that will not leave you disappointed in the end. So, fantastic combat mechanics, very rewarding exploring, tons of customization, simple and fun puzzles with maybe a little too much help from Atreus and the other companions. It's nothing groundbreaking or revolutionary. It feels at home on the PS5 and PS4 even with slightly better graphics on the PS5. It's just the amount of polish and talent on display here. Everything comes together in one hell of an experience by the end. Ow! Ah, what wrong with you? What's wrong with this bitch? What's your problem? Trey, what are you doing, motherfucker? Thank you. It's definitely bigger and badder. But it is it better? The last game I gave a 9 out of 10 to, nearly a 10 out of 10. Can this hit that? It is definitely more. More of what we loved in the original. More loot, more combat, more realms. That may not exactly have the same uh, impact that it does in the story department, but it makes up for that in all the other arenas. Ah. Ah. Bunch of bears, oh, this is exactly what you wanted. Oh, 10 out of 10. <laughs> awesome. Really, the only other things that I can think of are the pacing problems and the fact that Ragnarok just doesn't feel uh, much like Ragnarok should. Most of the time, there's not a lot of weight or urgency. There should be so much more impending doom that's just not really there. Kratos himself sometimes feels like a side character without much choice or forward momentum in his, in his own game, though it is more about Atreus. The RPG mechanics are expanded here, but they're still a bit underdeveloped. A lot of these things were in that last game as well. Sure, these increase certain stats and numbers and combat power, which is nice, but it's really the various perks and abilities that those pieces come with that really let you emphasize your favorite play styles and how you want to go about it. what the button is you know there's surprisingly a lot of button combos and things that you got to remember but it doesn't seem overwhelming which is good all right Let's see what loot this was the apple or no yeah an apple yeah. give me more health fuck yeah collected one of two needed to increase maximum health Man, if I truly think about it, this game addresses almost every single concern I had with the last game in my review. We get more of Atreus' mother. We get less of the last game's annoying boss gauntlets. We get variation in gameplay through multiple character perspectives. They address even the lack of weapon criticism a tiny bit towards the end. And we have more badass boss battles. Though I still feel like the opening battle with Baldur was a bit better than this opening battle with Thor, but I really think 
that, you know, it is just an amazing game with a few pacing issues uh, that may be keeping it from that legendary rating, though it's so fucking close. We might as well travel to all the realms, so let's start here. It's probably best for Tyr to wait for us here. The soldiers we fought in Tyr is gonna come with us. Those were in we go to the elf. What? Fuck! I better not have to play that whole fucking thing again. And no, it's not because there's no wild orgies anymore, even though that wouldn't hurt. Bada bing, right? Uh, no, that's not this game's tone, okay? And I'm tired of seeing dudes give it low scores because there's not 10 sets of tits on Kratos' face like the old days, right? That's just that's something different from the original d days of Kratos' face-melting anger. Can't really talk. Though I agree, I feel like they nerfed Kratos a little too hard to prevent him from feeling too OP. Damn, that barely did anything to him, yo. It did. <laughs> I thought you was the god of war. The god of getting your ass kicked from behind. I think some people complained in the original. Are you insane? He should feel OP. He's the god of war, damn it. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. Oh, you bitch. There goes your arm, punk. So he's a little nerfed here, I think. Um, and then also, I don't think the game takes advantage of the PS5's power quite as much. They do a little bit of the adaptive triggers, but this could have really just been a, it feels more like a PS4 game that's slightly upgraded. I didn't even do anything. You see what you fucking did, Joe? I didn't just do anything. Just cause you went on fucking vacation, goddammit, would've no, never got... fucking happened. We're gonna finish it, it by update. fucking now. It was an update. I was only gone for one day. <laughs> and upon journeying through all the realms, I did feel disappointed by some of the designs of the gods in the realms, right? Asgard. It's it's kind of boring looking, not epic enough in my opinion, but uh, you know, and finally I was expecting probably a bit more of a challenge in that insane battle for Ragnarok. The final two battles are in the exact same location when we could have been crazy creative, put it up in the sky or on the fucking massive world snake. It just never gets too crazy like that Balder fight when it definitely needed to. Um, and I get that Kratos doesn't maybe want to be God of War anymore, but it should have been harder. There's a few odd choices with some characters here and there, like, I was, why, why did he do that? But I can't talk uh, about that because of spoilers. So, despite all that, I cannot deny, though, how much fun I had with the game. I highly recommend God of War Ragnarok. And for me, it's that kind of game that you need to own a PlayStation 4. The final verdict for Ragnarok is a 9 out of 10 with an easy, badass seal of approval. The same score as the original, but for different reasons. While the originals with that intimate story, father and son, was a little better, this game raises the bar in every single other aspect besides that story. I, I like the first story a little bit better, and I'm trying to avoid spoilers. So, it could end here, it could keep going, Though I, they did say, I think this is the conclusion of this particular story, but I would love to see a trilogy. And if it does, I have no doubt that it can hit that quality 10 out of 10. Maybe introduce some, take some risks, new mechanics, fa father-son co-op campaign experience maybe. Something to take this franchise over the top if we get one final act. Until then guys, I'll see you on the next Angry Joe Show. Boy! Boy! Who's gonna clean this mess? Boy!
Well, at least it's not the end of the world or anything.